Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Word of the Lamb Ministries welcomes you to Sunday message. Amen. Glory to God. I'm excited. I'm overjoyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, I'm excited and I'm overjoyed because God has given us an opportunity to be here, to be able to just be around him. And amen. I couldn't wait to just, just be there in the name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, in the meantime and in between time, I'm hoping that everybody is well. I'm hoping that everybody is doing good. Amen. I, good morning to those that are on our conference line and those that are on Zoom. Amen. Glory to God. I know that God has brought you to a better place and a wonderful in the place, a space. Amen. Glory to God. Y'all better get together. I don't know about nobody else. I'm just happy to be here. Y'all could be wherever y'all want to be, but I know one thing. God's been this good that he got me up, did me right. I'm sitting over here. I'm feeling real good. I mean, there's an opportunity today to praise the Lord. Amen. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm telling you to praise the Lord like you praise the Lord when you feel like praising the Lord. But God is always worthy to be praised. Amen. Glory to God. With that being said, amen. Glory to God. I want to give this wonderful part of this service over to our own evangelist, Lady Sunshine Strong. Amen. She's going to bring forth the announcements. Amen. And for those who are members, amen, she's got a little something at the end for y'all, just so pay attention. Amen. Glory to God. And I'm going to turn this over to her. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Good day, good day, good day. To Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries family, friends, and first-time visitors. We welcome one and all this wonderful day that the Lord has made. We are the official church without walls, feeding your faith in that will starve. We have many services. We have Monday evening Bible study, Eastern Standard Time, Tuesday and Thursday on the prayer line where we will pray for you and with you. We have every other Wednesday, we have our fun, fantastic book club. For the book that we're reading and the times and dates that we are meeting, please visit our website at www.wordofthelamb.org. And once a month on a Wednesday, we have our men's ministry. That is BWK, Brothers with Knowledge, and our women's ministry which is sisters devoted to praise with our own evangelist, outlaw, and the men's ministry is with our own Deacon Stephen. And every Friday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we have Friday Encouraging Word, where many times we have guest speakers, preachers, Bible trivia, poetry night, a whole host of many things. You never know what's going to happen on Friday Encouraging Word, but you're always guaranteed what? A good time in God. So come on out and don't be a part of the I should have been there club. And every first Saturday of the month, we have first fruit prayer between the hours of 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. Giving God the first fruit of all that we have that belongs to him. And every Sunday, you guessed it, right here, live on Facebook, Zoom, and your favorite social media. It is Word of the Lamb coming live every Sunday at 11 a.m. with the Sunday message with our own beloved Pastor Brian, bringing the Word of God to the people of God for such a time as this. And every Sunday at 10 a.m., right before service, we have our little treasures, our little Lamb's Church for Boys and Girls. And we encourage the parents, guardians, grandmas, aunts and uncles, bring your little lamb to learn about the great lamb of God. That is at 10 a.m. We do not live stream the children, but they can all see one another when they're all together on the little lamb's church. And we also would like to let you know that we continue the awesome unity prayer, which is Monday through Friday. 
three times daily. You can pick a time that's just right for you. It could be when you're waking up. It could be in the afternoon for lunch, or it could be in the, the evening hour. We have three times daily that we are on unity prayer, 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. Why don't you join us? We all need to join together and pray for our global community. And with that being said, we thank each and every one of you. And we also would like to thank those that are in the United States, in Puerto Rico and Latin America for your generous donations and sowing a seed on good ground here at Word of the Lamb Worldwide Ministries. On your screen, you will see a QR code for those who are techie savvy and for those who are text savvy, we have a text to give just for you. We also have a donate here button at the bottom of our landing page, which will lead you to PayPal for the donation or sowing a seed. We also have our address that you can drop us a donation and sow a seed on good ground in this ministry. When you sow a seed, you're sowing a seed right to your own backyard. Your seed goes to outreach and other forms of communication to spread the gospel of the good news all around the world. So we thank you that you're a part of it. Our mailing address is P.O. Box 320391 Hartford, Connecticut, 06132. Again, P.O. Box 320391, Hartford, Connecticut, 06132. You can also drop us an email if you have a prayer request or if you have a praise report, we'll praise with you. And when we receive your prayer request, we will pray with you and for you. Our email address is wordofthelamb at outlook.com. That is word of the lamb at outlook.com. We thank you this morning. And we want everyone to do exactly what the wonderful word has put and written. Let everything that has breath praise ye the Lord. So come on, people. Let's praise God, not for me, not for you, but because he's worthy to be praised, because he got you up, because he made a way, because he moved some things and moved some situations and saved you from some people and moved people out and in your path. So we want to thank him that he's there when he sees every tear that nobody sees. We want to thank him that we can get up and say, Lord, I thank you for another opportunity for getting it right. I thank you for moving mm. the soil and getting me right. I thank you that you give me hope because you are glory and the king of glory. We thank you that you created me with a purpose. Let's thank God for everything, the seen and the unseen that he yes. does on our behalf. So with that being said, we will turn these services over to our own beloved Pastor Brian. Amen. Glory to God. Mute my microphone button. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We um, also want to give you a, 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 a quick thing today for those who are members. Amen. Glory to God. We will be having a meeting after service. We will be having a meeting after service. Which means that if you're on Zoom, if you're on conference line, if you're on Facebook, make sure you come on in so we can go ahead and have a quick meeting. Amen. Glory to God. I say that ahead of time. I'm sure that we'll be repeating it a little later on. Amen. Glory to God. I want to say good morning to some people. Amen. A morning. Good morning. Good morning to all the evangelists and the deacons, deaconesses. Uh, I'm talking to the individuals on the line and those who came to visit. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. To my sisters and brothers in Christ, my Facebook technician, the, our resident poet, amen, 
Hallelujah. I don't know if she's on the line, but Sister Serene, if you there, amen to you too. Amen. Glory to God. I'm calling out some people and some things. Amen. Glory to God. And I, I just want to tell you, amen. I'm shouting out to Sister Gwen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God has been good. Amen. I want to thank all those who popped on and visited and looked in and things of that nature um, for the event for my daughter the other day. Amen. I wanted to thank you automatically. Amen. Glory to God. I was glad to see some of your faces. Amen. I'm glad to do some things and amen. Glory to God. There's, you know, many thanks you coming from, from her, but I wanted to personally thank you, each and every one of you. Amen. Even the wonderful things that I, I get home and see sitting on the porch. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. Amen. God bless you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is good, though. Yeah, God is good. You know. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know, everything is subject to change. Oh, my God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I got to get it. All right. Glory to God. It's going to be a little different than we usually do. I'm going to get to the other parts of it. But for some strange reason, I got to speak to you. Glory to the name of Jesus. I don't know who's going through something. The pain and the hurt. I don't know who's going through the questions about why. But I do know that the Lord is dealing with you. He's working it, even though you think the process is slow. Mm. He's being meticulous to make sure that every T and every I is crossed. That you come out of this scenario the way that he intended it to be. Amen. Which brings me to my subject. Hallelujah. Glory to God. My subject today is just one word. Yes. Most heavenly and kind Father, we come before you as humble as we know how. Lord, we come here, Father God, asking you to, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, I thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you mm. Mm. Lord, we come as humble as we know how, asking you to move in every direction. Lord, I'm asking you, Father God, that it'll be less of me and more of you. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen on the conference line. Glory to God. Amen. And then amen. Glory to God, Hallelujah! I I I just I just needed to to hear that 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 Amen that you just put out there, Hallelujah, has just moved some stuff out the way. I just don't know why. Somebody say Amen if they're looking to get something removed, Amen, Hallelujah, because God is there. He just needs you to put a period on it. Hey, oh my amen. God! Amen. 
Jesus, you know. subject to change. God, you got something that God has before you, but he said, I need you to speak some things. And the Bible tells us some things, but I'm going to tell you something myself. I'm telling you just this. Speak some things as though they are. Oh, my God, I don't know who I'm speaking to today, but I need you to have an understanding that the Lord wants to push you in a certain place. He wants to move you in and out of some areas, and you're coming out. Mm, mm, mm. Jesus. Hallelujah. You're coming out of the situation that you're in. You're coming out of it. And it's because you have to do some things. Oh, which brings me back to my subject. Hey, man, glory mm -hmm. to God. And I told you that the title for the day is what? Yes. All right. Glory to God. I only heard one person say it. <laughs> so that's the only person that's out there willing to understand it. You might have said it in your mind, but that's all right. God heard you in the first place. I know that you might be on mute because of other things going on, but God says still, even in the midst of that, you still say yes. Let them know who you are. You got to let them know who you going to be. And you got to mm. let them know that you work, ah, that you are called by, ah. That you were sent by, oh my God, by the <laughs> Lord thy God, Jesus Christ. Yes. Oh my God. Hallelujah. I, I don't know. I, oh my God. I, I, I'm, I'm subject to change. Amen. Today. Mm -hmm. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord thy God is standing with open arms. And all you have to say is yes to him. But I, I, I have to ask you these questions. You kind of need to take a self-survey. Hmm. But have you said yes to his will and his way? Because sometimes we'll say some things, but we won't do some of it. Remember, a lot of us do 99 and a half, and we don't do it all. I might be included in this number. Mm -hmm. But uh, we got to do all of what he's asking for. We... Oh God, don't don't get mad now. But uh <laughs> some of us talk a real good game. We have great ah uh, intentions. Mm. But our delivery is terrible. That's like going to the store with a hundred cans in your car. Knowing that every can of everything that you get put in that cart, when you get to the register, it'll be free. And by the time you get to the register, you only got one can. Your delivery ain't all that great. Hmm. My questions are you this to you today, amen. Have you said yes to helping the poor or visiting the sick? What about the ones in prison? Yes, 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 Lord, yes. What about the widows? What was your yes? Was it a yes? Was it a meaningful yes? Or was it just something you said for the moment? Has your yes been diluted? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, yes. Come on, yes. I'm talking to some people. Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ask you another question because I'm asking questions. Are you stopped? 
Look at yourself and look upon the things you're doing. And I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not picking on nobody. I'm asking these questions to myself. You just been hanging out. <laughs> Are you the reason why you have not moved forward hmm. in Christ? Oh, yeah, I've given you some questions for yourself. Your own little checklist of things. Now I got to ask you another question. Are you still in the fight? Mm -hmm. hmm? Are you still in the fight? Mm -hmm. or have you taken some time off? Hmm. Have you forgotten how to advance forward? <laughs> hmm? Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, uh, I know I'm a, I know I hit somebody nerve. That's all right. I got to ask you these questions because I had to ask myself, oh, by the way, Sister Miller on the line. And you know what happened when Sister Miller get on the line? Uh -oh. uh, I got I to gotta preach. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Now, I want to say something to you. Have you forgotten how to advance forward? If you drop the ball, pick it up. Try it again. Shake it off. Mm -hmm. Try it again. Pick it up. Shake it off. Try it again. I know that every situation that you've been into, some of us have gotten disappointed. And because you got disappointed, your folly fan said to yourself, I'm not going back in that direction. But if the Lord is calling you to do something, go and do it. You just have to change your strategy. Hmm. All God wanted was your yes. The enemy to tell you that your yes will tell you what you can't have. The things you got to change. Well, let's put it this way. When you start working and doing some things for the Lord, the things mm -hmm. that you were doing will slowly fall away anyway. There's some stuff that's going on that you probably say, if I didn't have God in my life, I don't know where I'd be. Mm -hmm. Yet we still have trust issues. Oh, my God. Ooh -ooh. <laughs> Listen to this, y'all. Don't let your situation, don't let your situation, don't let your what? Situation. Now, thank you very much. I need some people talking with me today. <laughs> I Don't let your situation hold you down. You might be wherever you are. It might be devastatingly bad upon you. It might be affecting you and your family, everything mm -hmm. about it. But you got to say, I serve a God who's greater than all things. For in him and around him is greatness. He said, let there be, and it was. Mm -hmm. And even in the worst of our times, you can say, Lord, what can I do for you today? You are unmuted. But who or what is you yes? Mm. Mm -hmm. Are you yesing to the Lord? Are you yesing because it's popular? <laughs> are you yesing because somebody told you to? Remember, it's still your life. You got to make up the mind. 
Oh, I'm 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 gonna get somewhere. Don't let your situation hold you down. Believe in your yes. See, have faith in your yes to the Lord. Oh, because if God is, are you saying this? Yes to God, and you're saying it now. Are you saying it from your mouth, or are you saying it from your heart? Some people believe that they're doing one thing, but as soon as the yes gets a little harder, they run right into a different way. How easy is it for most people to quit? How easy is it for most people to stop? But how much stronger is it to push your way through? And I'm on the line looking at the people. I'm on the phone looking at you. I'm on over here at Facebook and I know you pushed through some stuff. You pushed through some stuff that some people can't even get through because they decided that they would quit and not go there. But you have said, I'm a push through because I got to get through because the Lord said that he already had something for me because my mansion is waiting for me. Amen. But I got to push through to get through. Hmm. Amen. I need you to remember, oh my God. I need you to remember who you are and remember whose you are. Some of us have forgotten. We have went through and we're going through the motions. We are going through some things and speaking of motion, sometimes it becomes emotional in our emotions that we forget who we are and whose we are. We know and can say it in our mouth and our mindset, we're a child of God, but in our heart, we stop doing it. You know who you are. You know whose you are. Now we got to go out there and just show the world the light that's in you. See, all God wants was your yes so that he can do some things. He wants to give you a plan for something, but sometimes we want to make our own plan and it doesn't include the Lord. We're trying to do it on our own. We try to be our beat by our own particular drum and not put him in it. We're trying to say we can do this on our own. And how many disasters have happened in your life doing it on your own. I believe you are more than a conqueror. Romans, the eighth chapter and the 35th verse, I'm gonna continue for a little bit on it, to the 39th, I believe. It says, who should separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, meaning from the English Standard Version, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or pearl, or sword. If none of these things right here would separate us from the love of Christ, then how hard is it to give him your full yes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Your full yes. If we keep going on talking about what we're going to do and halfway going to do when we get a time, by the time you get to a certain spot, you'll be like, well, I'm going to, and that going, I'm going to might have already passed. Because tomorrow is not promised. A few minutes ain't promised. Five minutes ago was not promised, but you, God gave it to you. you know, ten minutes from now is not promised, but you're hoping that God will give it to you. And in those moments of time, why are you still here? 
God still wants your yes. Mm -hmm. But there's verse 36 says this. Romans 36. As it is written. For thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay. In all these things. We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. God knows his sheep. Blood has been shed by Jesus so that we could have a full yes. But yet you still tinkering, hemming, and hawing, as they say, sitting back and trying to be lax. What are you going to do? I want you to get an understanding that the Lord loves you so much that he's so wonderfully crazy. He sent his son down so that he could get that yes. Because it was a time when you couldn't give it to him because of the inconsistencies of your sins. And even though we might sin on a daily basis, we have an advocate who is advocating for us, who sits on the right hand of God. Verse 30. Eight says, I am persuaded. I am persuaded. I am persuaded. Hallelujah. That neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, or any other creature should be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. All God wants is your yes. Yes to his will. Yes to his way. And while we're in the process of going for our yes, and a lot of us have said, yes, Lord, why are you procrastinating on what you need to do? If he has said it before you, if he has made it plain for you, as he has opened up things for you, there's a good reason for you to do what you need to do. The God that we serve loves you so much that nothing's going to separate you from his love. But how many times have we ignored it? How many times has he didn't say yes? Mm. How many times have you took the opportunity to only do half? How about the times that you had it in your heart, but you didn't produce it? 
how many times did you produce it, but you only did it half-heartedly because you really wasn't feeling the yes when you know that the Lord had already put it in you. Sometimes the resistance that we have is our own selves. Question to you. Will you give him your best yes? Will you give him your best yes? Amen. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Let me, let me, let me. I, I done heard from Zoom. Let me, let me see over mm -hmm. here. And I'm going to talk to Facebook real quick. You Amen. Will you give him your best yes? Mm -hmm. God bless you, brother Eli. I see you over there and make my day as always. Will you give your best yes? Oh, thank you, Facebook. Appreciate you. Let's see about my conference line, people. Will you give your best yes? Oh, we got quiet over there. But I know I hear it. Thank you, conference room people. I got your yes too. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Y'all just don't know. Now you have to make up your mind within you. Because the things that you're getting ready to go forth are for you and the Lord. The Lord says, I got you, but I need you to do something for me. I need your yes, because I love the praise. I love the praises that you give me. I love the love that you give me. And I want to share what I got for you. But you got to open up your mind. Open up your heart. Open up your scenario. Mm -hmm. Psalms 139 says this, O oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. Mm -hmm. The 103rd division of Psalms, if you don't know, if we go by the one way, or if the 100, uh, you know, Psalms 139, depending on which one it is for you. Amen. Glory to God. O oh Lord, you have searched me and know me. God knows every single part of you. There isn't nothing that he don't know. Amen. He says, you know when I sit down and when I rise up. You discern my thoughts from afar. Oh, he knows what you're thinking. You searched out my path and my lying down and my acquaintance with all my ways. He knows every single one of your issues. Even before a word is in my tongue, behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. Yeah, before you get ready to speak, whether you were speaking something good or something bad, the Lord already knew what you were getting ready to do. Mm -hmm. Behold, O oh Lord, you know it all together. Verse 5, you hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. God, number knowledge is so infinite, we can only take it in smaller doses as he gives it to us. And if he wants to give you more than he gives others, amen. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I free flee from your presence. We serve a kind of God that you cannot escape from. There is no place that you can run, no place that you can hide, that he has not and already has seen you and perceived that you are there before you even left. Come on, somebody say amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. See, we serve that type of God who says that I, 
I love you in every particular you, circumstances. We serve you as a guy to God that he loves us in every single way. Amen. Glory to God. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Jesus. Glory to God. See, we're getting ready to bring some stuff into it. We're setting an atmosphere, if y'all didn't know, that is getting ready to move upon it. And each and every one of you, if you start to feel a little bit of a, a something in you, a little chill, a, a little movement, a little overflow, and a little bit of anxiousness in the body system, and it's the Holy Ghost getting ready to move upon us because we're in the midst of things. Because he said, where there are two or more, there shall I be also. There's something about to happen. Somebody's about to make a change. Somebody's about to give a good yes. Somebody's about to change from where they were to what they're going to do. Somebody said, I have no more excuses. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm going to do it and I got to get it done now. Hallelujah. For somebody, they got an ASAP spirit. It has to be as soon as possible. For some of us, God has to marinate on you. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. He's got to cook you through. He's got to season some of y'all up. And because you're a tough piece of meat, he's going to have to beat you a little bit so that y'all can be able to get tenderized. Amen. Glory to God. Some of us have been through the tenderization of the Lord. Amen. And getting ready to be seasoned right because he know that once you're seasoned well, he moves you to another place where everything else starts to move in because just because you're seasoned well, doesn't mean that you're not going to be wonderfully cooked well. And amen, God wants to wonderfully cook you to a certain aspect, amen, and bring you out of the fire without a hinge of smoke, without a burnt piece of clothing. And they say that uh, I will come out as pure gold is a song that I heard. Amen. Glory to God. The Bible also speaks to us right here in the name of Jesus that it says in verse 8, if I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed and soul, which is in the grave of hell, you are there. If you take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me. And your right hand shall hold me. If I say surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. That's the kind of God we say. The night is bright as the day. The glory of the God moves. For darkness is a light with you. God can <laughs> overflow. You, for you formed my inner parts. Oh, he done made you in every particular way. Listen now. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. Oh, between a baby and his mama, there's a true soul tie. Mm -hmm. That even though they might act a certain way, oh my God, thank you, Holy Ghost. Even though they might have a certain attitude, even though they don't want to be bothered, there's somewhere inside of them that's still saying, I miss my mama. Mm, amen. I praise you. Yes, Lord, I praise you. For I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Somebody need to know this. The reason why they need to know this is because of the self-esteem problem that you have. The only self-esteem is because the other people might have said something differently. You might felt a certain way, but certain people said something that hurt your feelings. 
and it puts you in a certain place. But the Lord said you were fearfully and wonderfully made. You were fearfully and wonderfully made. And anything that the Lord has made, he said, was good. <laughs> Lord, have mm -hmm. mercy. I thank you for making me fearfully and wonderfully made. Glory to the name of Jesus. Wonderful <sighs> are your works. My soul knows it well. My frame, ah, my frame is not hidden from you. And when I was being made in secret, intricate woven into the depths of the earth, your eyes saw my unformed substance in your book were written every one of them. The days that were formed for me when at as yet there is none of them. How precious to me are your thoughts. We serve that type of God. The reason why I'm telling you this is because you need to know these things. Says I'm how precious is our God. Are your thoughts, oh God? How vast is the sum of them? That's what an exclamation point, which means he's telling you that the sum of God's wisdom is something we would just never find. But we do know that it's vast and it's wonderful. Yes. And he says. All I want is your yes. Your situation might yeah. be grave, but I still want your yes. I might be wondering on what direction you want me to be in. All I want is your yes. I got problems and issues. All God wants is your yes. Because if you say, Lord, I, 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 I want to give you my issues. And then you go back to doing your issues. You're going to go back and say, Lord, I need to do your issues. It's good to tell the Lord. But the Bible says faith without works is dead. So saying it is one thing, but where's your work? Oh, you got my keys, Evangelist? Yes. Mm. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Where's, where, where's, where's your work? We got to put the work in too. If you're going to give a yes, put a yes in, but come on, let's do the work. Because if you can't do the work, then what you doing? You you just sitting there. Amen. There's been, oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. There are too many people being placeholders. I'm going to leave that alone. There's too many people who Oh, no, I guess I can't. It's too many people who are out mm -hmm. here wanting to do something, but because they see somebody else do it, they're going to stand back and let them do it. Amen. I can help them, but that person's doing it. The other person saying, I'm going to do this because I know that if I don't, they're going to stand back and just watch and nothing going to happen. When you going to get activated? Hmm. God has already equipped you. He says he, he calls, he qualifies. Oh, I believe that if he qualified you, hallelujah, if, if, if God has qualified you, glory to God. 
to do the work that he has called you to do, and you know that he has called you to do it, do the work. The Bible tells us this, amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I'm almost done. How vast is thy sum? If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake and I am still with you. Oh, come on. The knowledge of God is more than the sands. It's impossible for us to count the sands. We go to sleep and God is with us. We wake up and God is with us. You can't tell me that you got a friend that's going to be with you like that. Because even your spouse who can be with you 24-7 ain't always going to be there when you wake up. They might be somewhere else. They might have took off somewhere. They might have just been visiting or doing something. They might have had to go somewhere. God might have called them home, whatever it may be. But the Lord said, I'm with you in your dreams. And I'm with you when you wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, that you would slay, slay the wicked, oh God. Oh, man of blood, depart from me. They speak against you with meticulous intent. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I hate those who hate you, O oh Lord? Do I not hate those who hate you, O oh Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred I count them my enemies search me O God and know my heart try me and know my thoughts and see if there be any grievous ways in me and lead me in the way of everlasting ladies and gentlemen people of God Will you give God a real yes? Yes. Something that's not from the heart or the mind might not be considered a real yes. But if it's coming from the heart, and I really mean that from that bedrock, that place where you're you're you don't do some there's certain things in this world that you don't say unless you really truly mean it. Whatever that may be in you. You might have a word uh, that you don't say to everybody because you want to make sure that when you say whatever that word may be, that it is something that you're, you're bestowing that one word upon whoever it is because that makes how you feel. For some of us, we've always say we love this and we love that, but there's some people who you just love. Just love them. Some people, it might be whatever that word may be. God says, I want that word. I want your real yes. Not the one that you're going to say yes to. Because you know, somebody says, um, call your name and you say yes. Mm -hmm. But if I called your name and the Lord called your name and he says, I love you so much. And he says, do you hear me? Yes. You yes. says, yes. That's the kind of yes God's looking for. That he loves you. And he wants your yes. He forgives you. And he wants your yes. He understands you. And he wants your yes. He wants you to come out of some mess. And he still wants your yes. You might have dropped the ball, disappointed, come against, did some things, said some stuff. And if you ask for forgiveness and you forgive with your heart, God still wants you. Yes, yes, God, I want to be with you. 
because he knows that we all have issues, attitudes. But if we commit to him, some of our issues, some of our attitudes start to slip away little by little. Yes. So in my conclusions, I'm going to ask you a question. My question is just this, y'all. For those who desire to be saved, all God wants is your yes. All the Lord wants is your yes. If you are desiring to be saved, you've been sitting there, you say, I, I, I need to do some things. Glory to the name of Jesus. We need you to have a yes. We need to get an understanding of you, Lord. Thank you, God, for who you are. Lord, I'm asking you for the yes. I know there's some people out there who are in need of your yes. So if you're desiring to be saved, Understand this, we cannot save you. The Lord Jesus Christ can do that. We will lead you in the ways toward him. For it is nothing to do with us, but is everything to do with Christ Jesus. If you're desiring to be saved, and you're on Facebook, you can call 1-302-202-1110. Use conference code 940-792. Glory to God. And we will be with you. Call us and we have evangelists we have people all around us, around us, who will be able to help you and walk you in this path. And oh, we will not leave you like that. In the name and authority of Jesus. I'm asking, would you come? Would you come? Would you come? For you know there's a time in our lives when things just might be a little rough. There's a time when things might be a little wrong. But Lord, I'm asking you to move upon them, Father, that you will overflow in all of their areas. Lord, I'm asking you, Father, that as they come forth, Father God, that they'll make it an understanding that tomorrow's not promised, Lord. Lord, they come. If you desire to come to the Lord or, and you just want to be private, er, you can 
go to Word of the Lamb at Outlook.com. Send us an email and we will get back in touch with you. Make sure you put your telephone number so that I can call you, that the evangelist can call you. We can talk with you. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. If you are drop the ball, <laughs> hallelujah. I don't know about everybody else, but I've dropped the ball. Many people have dropped the ball. We have dropped amen. the ball many, many times. Amen. We want to pick up the ball, but amen. Sometimes we pick up something, and if we're still doing the same thing, it still might lead it to the same directions. Amen. So we had to pray a little bit more. Amen. For those who, who dropped the ball, who know Christ already, but have fallen just a little bit. So that you'll understand, amen, that God is just that good, that he loves you so much, amen. But he wants to move away that old anointing and put something new in its place. Heavenly Father, we come before you as humble as we know how. Ask you, Father God, that you will look upon those who have dropped the ball. Lord, I'm asking you, Father God, that you will try them one more time, that they repent right now in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I'm asking you to try them one more time. Father, the old anointing won't do for them. The old place where they were, Father God, won't do for them. But Lord, you said that if we are in Christ, we're a new creature. Old things have passed away. Old things become new, Father. I'm asking you that you will make them new. Lord, I'm asking you that you would have your way in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And amen. Glory to God. Amen. I'm, I'm going to ask, does anybody out here desire for a church home? If you are looking for a church home, Word of the Lamb Ministries is a good place to be. We're a church without walls. We do have a statement of our beliefs, what we believe in. And I believe that every place that you go to, and you're desiring to be a member, you should always have what you believe in. Ours is on our website, www.wordofthelamb.org. Look, look for the page on our landing page, amen, at the very top. Go, if you don't see it in there, go to more and it'll be pop right up. Amen. And if you read it already and you agree with it, would you come? Would you come? Would you come? If you believe that the Lord has called you into this ministry, would you come? Would you come? Would you come? Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah, God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got a yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You stay with us. Amen. Glory to God for even a little bit after service. Amen. And we are going to talk with you just a little bit. Okay. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. To my sisters and my brothers. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. If you are, if you have, uh, been in the ministry and you just haven't been there in a while no because some people have it's just been a while you just haven't got there you say i love my church but I, i'm enjoying what's going on here well come on let us put you under watch amen 
Because what happens under watch is that we get a chance to watch out for your soul while you're thinking about going back to your place of being. Because you always need a place to fellowship while you're getting to where you're going. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But there's been a lot of people who have been, hallelujah, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. There's been a lot of people, hallelujah, that have uh, been in watch and have become members, amen. But if you're desiring that, would you come? Would you come? Would you come? Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the name of Jesus. For those, hmm, my God, my God, my God. Thank you, God. It's just been, a, it's been wonderful. Those who are on the line, amen, glory to God. Hallelujah. Lord, I have done what you have asked me to do. I have brought forth a word. Yes, Lord. Hmm. Lord, I have uh, asked for those who desire to be saved. We had opened up the doors of the church, Lord. And Lord, I thank you for sending some in. Lord, we have called upon those who have dropped the ball and we had even opened the door for those who wanted to be in watch. Father, we have done everything up to your assignment. Now, Father, I thank you for it. Father, I ask you that you move upon us. Now, Father, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, I ask you that you move in every area, that you overflow in every direction. I ask you that you will touch in every way possible, Father God, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I'm asking you that you would overflow in all the areas. I'm asking you that you would take full control. Now, Father, as we get ready to leave this place, but never your sight, Father, we ask you that you would continue to hold us in all ways possible, that you will put into our minds, God, that we will have a real yes, God. And Lord, we thank you for it. And in Jesus' mighty and humble name, amen. 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 And amen. amen. For those that are on Facebook, if you are desiring, amen, that you wanted to come and be a part of this because I might have missed saying this, give us a call at 1 302 202 1110. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to the name of Jesus. For the young individual who is saying that they're in, in need of help for their family, amen, glory to God, amen. If you would be so kind as to send us an email to word of the lamb at outlook.com with your telephone number, we'll come and talk with you. Amen. Glory to God. We will look forward to seeing that. Amen. For all those that are on the line, if you are once again a member or member to be, hallelujah, we're having a meeting after service. Please, if you're on watch, you're included in the meeting. It will be on a conference line, 1-302-202-1110, or on Zoom, if you can get on there, or you can call in, either one, amen, glory to God. For those that are not, 
Amen. Glory to God. I wish you the blessings of the Lord be upon you. May you continue yeah. to move in all of the areas in Jesus' mighty and humble name. Amen. Amen. And amen. For those that are on Facebook who are our members, amen, call on in to Zoom if you can or on a conference line. That will be wonderful. I will be expecting you to be there shortly. Amen. Glory to God. Don't don't wait no five or ten minutes. Come on in. Amen. Glory to God. We appreciate you. I want to give a shout out once again to my brother, man of God, Eli. I brought, we appreciate you for being with us. Amen. I'm so happy to be around you. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, hopefully, so, yeah. you want to be there. and amen and amen. 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 Glory to God. Avengers, Lady Sunshine, I'm sure wants to say, hey, and God bless you to your people. God bless you. Que Dios te bendiga. Yes, <laughs> Lord. Amen. And enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. For those that are on Facebook, God bless you. And we will talk with you later. You already know, Sister Bridget. Hallelujah. Come on in and give us a call. Sister Miller, call us. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Sister Shereen, stay on the conference line. Anybody else on the conference line, God bless you and may you have a wonderful and exciting day. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.